Main engine start, six engines up and running. And liftoff, liftoff of the Proton rocket and the Zarya control module. The International Space Station is underway. Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Isidro Reyna. Happy 20th anniversary to the International Space Station. This week marks the anniversary of the beginning of the world's orbiting laboratory. It was on November 20th, 1998, that a Russian proton rocket lifted the first module, Zarya, into space, followed two weeks later by Unity, the first U.S. segment carried by Space Shuttle Endeavour on STS-88. Since then, more than 200 astronauts and cosmonauts from 18 countries have visited the station and contributed to more than 2,500 investigations. Great research, innovation, fundamental scientific discovery, and testing of exploration concepts and technology will continue aboard the station as it paves the way for commercial industry in low Earth orbit. The station crew had this to say about this historic milestone. ISS is a ship that teaches us how to fly beyond the horizon. We are literally the first generation of fish that left Earth's homely ocean. The next generation will set their foot on Mars using the knowledge and technologies developed on the International Space Station. This week, the crew enjoyed a traditional Thanksgiving feast in microgravity. We've got everything from turkey to candied yams to stuffing to special spicy pound cakes. We're very excited. While the space station may be a lot like home, in the galley kitchen, you'll see quite a few differences. There are no refrigerators or stoves, so meals have to be shelf stable and easily reheated in small warmers. Also, the galley is missing a few other items, knives and chairs. Most meals are eaten with a spoon and because of microgravity, crew members float around the table. Two cargo vehicles arrive to the station with tons of supplies for the crew. The Progress 71 cargo craft blasted off on November 16th from the Baikonur Cosmodrome launch pad in Kazakhstan. The vehicle was loaded with almost three tons of food, fuel, and supplies. The spacecraft docked November 18th. The Cygnus space freighter from north of Grumman launched November 17th at the Wallops Flight Facility on Virginia's Atlantic coast. The U.S. resupply ship delivered approximately 7,400 pounds of food, fuel, and supplies to the station. The spacecraft was captured November 19th by the Canadarm2 robotic arm. Keep sending in your questions using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week. Subscribe for more space.